Oh, I don't think women should be. They don't have a choice. It's not. I don't believe after they're pregnant, there's one excuse. Great. Other than that, they don't. It's not their body no more. The Why well, is no body? It's what? not your body yeah, once you're pregnant. Have you ever wait, been pregnant? No. no. Once it's an apartment. After you're it pregnant, not. <laughs> it's not. It doesn't belong to you because God didn't ask you if you if you wanted a choice to be able to make babies, and it didn't. He didn't ask us if if men wanted a choice to be able to have sperm. We just happen to be able to do it. But the the result is not your body. The result. I'm saying the result is the baby's body. The, it's the baby's body. It's not your body after so you're pregnant. Women are not built to be rejected on a daily basis. So if you was to let a guy know how you feel about him every day, and he's like, look, I don't like you like that, that would just destroy you. So what you do is you force us to have emotions first that you already have, but you make us say it first so you don't get rejected from your emotions. Here's woman rate. Ready? You miss me? <laughs> <clears throat> and if you say no, I don't miss you, then she, she kills the pussy, the pussy's dead. <laughs> but if you say yes and you don't mean it, that means you are, that's where the rape is. I've said, I, honey, hey, I love you, and didn't mean it, and I want to take a shower after. I want to lay in the tub, <laughs> in the fetal position, and cry. Because <laughs> I lied to a bitch about how I felt, now she thinks I like it like that. Look, I've never had a worse breakup. They all th the same thing. <laughs> Women try to force themselves on me, and I get very frightened. <laughs> forcing me to call, forcing me to listen when they call, forcing me to watch the dub <laughs> they want to watch on television, forcing me to take them out, forcing me to wear what they think I look cute in, forcing me to play Xbox with them when they're not even interested in the game. They can get pissed away. Forcing me to... Forcing me to cuddle afterwards, even in the summer? It's hot, bitch. I still love you. Look it. <laughs> Look it, man. Ladies, if you want to know how to make your man happy, just think about what makes you happy and do exactly the opposite. <laughs> It's a lonely game. That's what people, that's what my woman doesn't understand. She thinks I hate her. I just, you don't understand, sweetie. My loneliness is so important to me. You're, and don't, don't try to help me not be lonely. Yeah. Like, I don't like anybody right now. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to see anybody. Yeah. I just want to be introverted Grinch. That's if somebody saw my holidays from thanksgiving <laughs> oh, to now yeah it would be a sad scene <laughs> in a movie that somebody would think they wrote Where are my dogs they're little motherfuckers and i'm gonna tell you what happens and i love my girl but when i have my dogs i'll be like i love my fucking dogs like it's weird like the motherfuckers be doing shit and it, and i'm gonna tell you why because my girl it was, it was i had an epiphany i was sitting there had my dogs I look back and my girl was asleep and I was like, I love my girl, but I didn't I wasn't like, I love my fucking girl. But I'd be looking at my dogs like shit! I love my dogs. I'll tell you why. Cause my dogs, they need me, right? But they don't act like they don't. So my girl needs me like my dogs need me, but she play me like I ain't shit. When my, the, the Westy's legs are this motherfucking big, he can't jump up on shit. So when I'm sitting up and everybody's having up high fun, this nigga be going, I want, man, I want to get up there. sit there and go, well, fuck you then, I'll buy a ladder. Or, or, he don't sit there, right, and soak, cause he think I'm supposed to know that he wanna get up on the motherfucking couch. So, this nigga go, I 
need you, motherfucker. My legs are too short. I ain't shit. Help me. I can't have fun without you, motherfucker. That's why I love my dogs. If I even look like I'm injuring this guy's girl trying to keep her off of my girl, mm -hmm. he then is going to stick a knife in my side. But that's where you plead to him. This Two is seconds. where pimping is dying. You go and plead in pimp style to this guy while, she, while his girls talk. I always disregard a woman in these situations. <laughs> I look, look, this one girl, I was at a show, and she was like, you suck. You ain't funny. Why? And I'm looking at her man like, I'm like, sweetie, hold on a second. Dude, now... I explained to the crowd. This You're the type appealing of shit. to the gentleman. I said, this is the type of shit that get good motherfuckers in fights. <laughs> now, if I tell, I cannot tell his girl, shut the fuck up. Now, I'm about 6'4", 300 something pounds. That she can't beat me up. The, the thing that she's doing is because I'm letting her do it. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Girls do what you let them do when they're la 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 la. So I go, dude, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you to shut your fucking mouth, right? And then your man's going to have to protect your honor by fucking with me now we two good motherfuckers sitting here getting ready to fight because you are an out of control bitch and i i had to tell this guy <laughs> listen a great you, wow, man. Man. you have to raise your bitch correctly you put it on the guy always all, the, all of a sudden now that guy's thinking he was thinking this motherfucker fucks with my bitch i'm gonna fuck him up you you turned it around to where if he fucks with you it's now his fault for not for keeping his, not keeping bitch, his in line. bitch in control. Wow. You don't have any of your girl got big mouth stories? Well, we were in Philly once uh, <laughs> driving on, what's that, South Street or whatever it's called, and uh, we're behind some, uh, some really tough-looking uh, motorcycle dudes, and they weren't going fast enough. And we're missing lights and stuff because they're going slow and starting up their bikes. They're they're out for a little joy ride and just kind of taking in the scenery. And uh, she reaches over from the passenger seat and decides to start beeping the horn to make him go faster. Oh no! So I can relate to everything you just said. What did you reach say? over because beep. I'm like, are you are you kidding crazy? Me? They're not going to beat you up. First of all, now they think I'm beeping because I'm behind the wheel. You yeah. know? And you, and I'm like, you're putting me in a bad situation here. And you're not a pussy. I'm for, not for do for like. Completely getting as tough as you should be with the bikers right. as with her. Right. Like, are you out of your goddamn mind for doing that? <laughs> yeah, because at that point, just like you said, you know, the next thing is, well, what 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 happens next? They get pissed off. They're gonna go to the passenger uh, window because they think you're doing yeah. it. And you're not gonna go. No, they're gonna get this bitch that beat me. Right. No. I would. No. I'm like this bitch beat the horn. No, they're gonna get right up in my uh, my grill. And you know what would happen if you do that? If more men stop thinking this this chivalry shit and go. This bitch reached over and beat the horn, dude. He, he know what he would go? My bitch is goofy like that. <laughs> yeah, it was just walk away. away. Let's go to Massachusetts. Chris, what's up? I'm just kind of sick and tired of hearing Patrice use the entitlement excuse every time he talks about women. Yeah. See, this is an this is a, an a empathizer. Sympathizer. You're the reason why life is fucked up for men right now, <laughs> goofball. When I say entitlement. It's a thing that makes you think that there's a magical force around you that can protect you from si different situations that makes you behave irrational. Guys don't do that. Like, okay, right now you, you're talking to me over the phone, but if you were sitting next to me on the train or something like that, and you was with your wife, your wife would say something before you did. You know why? Because she has this protective thing around her. You wouldn't talk because we're both men and it's possible somebody could get choked. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not saying you don't. You can choke me. I'm just whatever. We can fuck each other up. That's why we don't come out of our mouth to each other. Now, the the superior physical person in this situation, which is the man, why don't we come out of our mouth to each other? Why don't we curse each other? Why don't I look at you and go, what the fuck, yo, dude? Why don't you shut the fuck up? You know why? Because we are in charge of physicality. Women aren't. They go, mmm, why don't you, mmm, I'm going to beat the horn because he's not going fast enough in my world. This is what I mean by entitlement, dude. It's frustrating. You got to understand, you haven't raised as many women as I have. <laughs> You're, you're like not a you're not a father. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I beat you in basketball. I beat you in a race. I go, I'm a 42 year old fat guy. Of course you can. You can't beat your equivalent. Like if 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 I play a a, a WNBA player in a game, she'll probably beat me to death. I hope so. But she plays the wackest player in the NBA. She'll lose 
20 to nothing. Damn. It is what it is. But men oh, are... You don't agree, K-5? Men are great. I mean, I'd have to see it, but I wouldn't say but she'd lose 20 to nothing. You sound really confident about that. Oh, well, one, two. Give yeah. whatever no, I mean, I hate to say that he's right. K-Fox, I don't think... <laughs> It is what it is. Have you ever I, seen that done? A um, woman against... No one wants to embarrass a woman like WNBA that. WNBA gets the whack is doing the NBA? Yeah, you don't want to see that. Yeah. I'd like to see it. You couldn't. You wouldn't. You feel bad about it. The 12th it. man on the worst team in the NBA would would destroy the top Candace player. Parker. What is she going to do? All he had to do is do what he does. She's a girl. I mean, physically, oh of course. K-Fi. Men are physically stronger than women. Thank you. I don't think that's At least a debate. give us that. Yeah. Well, Patrice, do you think men are fundamentally better than women? Yes, as an Definitely animal. Definitely not. Because we don't spend a lot of time. Unless you're, unless you're as gay. As an animal. You're like unless Dwight Schrute. Unless you're gay. You, we don't spend a lot of time wondering what it's like to be women. Women spend a lot of time wondering what it's like to be us. 